Hello and welcome your faces to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the Shadows of Evil Rituals. I'm going to try and do it by round 5. Well, I can do it by round 5, so this is going to be a tutorial. So first of all, I'm just going to pick up the Fumigator from there, which you... I'm going to be going to Beast Mode, Zap, Quick Revive, break down this door, and I'm going to go and smash this box, which will give me the summoning key. If you go and activate this crane, this is also going to drop a part, which you need to do the ritual. So just follow my steps here, you're going to follow, go all the way around here and you're going to shock a switch which will be on fire. This will open the, the steps behind you, which I bet you never knew could open, but now you do. So I'm just going to get a few points here. And then I'm going to go pick up the summoning key from this box. And then I'm going to go pick up the fountain pen which will have dropped just underneath the crane. So now you've picked this up, you'll get two gatekeepers spawn every time you pick it up. But it's only round one, so they're only one night, so it's pretty easy. I'm going to spin up the ritual very quickly. You have to survive for a few seconds with these demon things chasing after you. You'll hear a scream when it's nearly finished, and then everything will go blue. And you'll be able to pick up the first gateworm. From here, you're going to want to go to the footlight district, which is the gate I'm going to show you right now. When we get there... So, luckily for me, Juggernog was here, so this is one of the reasons I went there. Then in front of you, you're going to see another beast lamp. You want to activate this, and to your right will be another switch, which will turn on these stairs. Cheeky little trick there. And then you'll have to want to open this teleporter. This will be useful for later on. So, I'm just going to jump over here, where you'll find a box. This box contains the next part to do with the ritual. You want to turn on Juggernog, and then here's the part. I don't know what it is, yeah, produces yeah. two pay. Okay, and once again, two gatekeepers are going to spawn. So once you got rid of the gatekeepers, I think I go into, yeah, I go and open the teleporter, which will be useful for later on, as I've already said. And then I want to go all the way back to Stamina, where I've got another beast waiting for me. And then I want to run all the way back round, up the stairs, which I opened, past Juggernog, and up here. And then what, there's a little grapple above the burlesque sign. If you grapple onto the burlesque sign and shock this switch, this will open the burlesque. So then you can do the second ritual. I just tried this egg, see if I get anything useful, but I didn't. So, now we're in the second ritual room. And once again, you'll have to do the same thing. You place it on the ritual table, and now you'll have to survive the gatekeepers. This one's pretty easy, because it's quite open, even though I said that, and I did nearly die just then. Okay. So once you've gone all the way through this and you've picked up the gateworm, that's the second one. Every two rituals a Margoire will spawn, so a Margoire spawns here obviously. Okay, so now you want to go and buy the train. The train is 500, so make sure you get 500 points. And upon calling the train, you want to make sure you put in the canals. This will take you to the canals, obviously, where you'll be able to do the next ritual. Uh, this one's also pretty easy as well. Okay, so as soon as you get off the train, just down the stairs, there'll be another beast lamp, which you should be able to activate. I'm on round three by this point, okay, so I've got a few points. Look above you, and there'll be another grapple location. Follow this exact route all the way down, the quickest, and then shock this, and another set of those stairs will open up. You want to jump over here, when I get down, and then shock this switch here, which will open the grate around the corner. If you break this door down, it's another portal, and there is the box which contains the ritual part, as you probably already know by now. So you want to go down there, and pick up the sheriff's badge, I do believe, and you'll get two more gatekeepers, so they start to open the teleporter again. You want to get rid of these both again, you only get two, so it's pretty easy. And then you want to go up and do the ritual, and as per usual, the same thing will happen again. You place it down on the table, and the red demon things will chase after you for so many minutes. So you just want to run round for, I don't know how long it lasts, I'd say about a minute, a minute and a half. So you want to keep running round, and then you'll get the third, third, yeah, third, definitely third, third worm. I don't know why it's a worm, but it's a worm. You now want to go back to the train with 500, and make sure you select the waterfront district. In my opinion, this one's probably the worst one, because it's the tightest, and it is the hardest. So I don't know why I left it to last. I would definitely advise by this point of bought Juggernaut because it's definitely a hell. So you want to go down the stairs and in front of you, like the last time at the canals, there will be a beast lamp. So grab the beast, 
and you want to run all the way down to the edge of the map near the docks or near the sea and there will be a door you can break which will open up the actual ritual room. You want to go all the way back up to once again collect the box which includes the ritual part. So if you just melee this off it will fall down and break and the third and final teleporter is here which I've already said is useful for later on. So you want to get a few points to allow you to open this door and then just down there will be the box's belt which is the part needed and like the other three items you'll get the two gatekeepers lucky for me I've got insta kill so they're a bit easier to kill but there's still only a few shots anyway so now I'm going to run all the way back down to the ritual room where I'll be able to place it down and this one is definitely the hardest if you want to follow my strategy here you, by all means but this one's the tightest and you can easily get cornered in this one so you just want to run round really quickly Okay, and as per usual it'll last a few minutes and once it's done you'll get a bright flash on your screen and a scream and what well, it's more of a shout than a scream and once the scream's done you'll be able to pick up the final gateway okay so i think this one does last the longest i think but i don't know okay so here's the gateway and once again because it's this it's the next second ritual like it's the second group of two you'll get another margoire spawn you want to go through one of the teleporters I told you about earlier, which will take you to a secret room. In the secret room, there'll be more gatekeepers which you want to kill. This time they're a little bit harder to kill because obviously it's a higher round, but there's only a few. Then you want to go over here to this little wall, and if it's done right and you've got all the ritual parts, this wall should disappear, opening up a big room. You want to place your gateworm where I show you, which is here. Follow my exact steps, and then the other side of the room at the same place there will be another holder put this in putting these in will open up the wall running spots which here you can see you can wall run across now you've wall run across there's two more spots there's a lamp here and just to the right which is here now you can activate the master ritual sounds big sounds scary you know what it's not it's the easiest one you've got more room and it, it's just easy you get some dramatic music but that's about it really uh, you can actually jump this now it's, this is built up and then I'm just going to place the summoning key back down there again and now I can run round so just follow this, if you just keep running round using the wall run spots they really can't catch up to you so I just stopped here just to sort of like get them in a train behind me but once you've done the last the boxing ring one it's pretty easy and once the master ritual is finished you will now have pack a punch open and will have completed all the rituals by round five so, thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some tips and advice on how to do the rituals. I think my next video is going to be a guide on how to build the Apothecon Servant, which is the wonder weapon in this map. So, please be sure to watch that if you enjoyed this, this will, that will also be another guide. And, this is Summers321 signing off and have an amazing day.